approaching an exit. Noticing it uh, puts the blinker on and doesn't uh, change lanes right away. Thinks about it. Uh, I had to put a little force on the wheel. Looks like it doesn't change lanes unless uh, your hands are on the wheel. I mean, my hands were on the wheel, but I hadn't. I wasn't applying a force to the wheel. Yeah, it wants to change back. Look at that. I got my. I got. I got a force on the wheel. Yep. So changes lanes right away, but you have to have a little bit of force on your wheel. Torque like. And uh, this is interesting because I'm. Yeah, I figured it was going to have to get back. So again, uh, as soon as I applied the force, torque to the wheel, it changed lanes. Welcome to Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate it if you'd press that little like button. So I just received 2019.8.5 and uh, it has the power peak power increased from before, auto steer, stoplight from before, but this is the new thing, the Navigate on Autopilot Beta, where you can have it automatically change lanes. And uh, let's uh, go into settings to configure it. So you press settings, autopilot, and the key thing here is uh, I had it engaged from before, but the difference now is under here, you can enable at start of every trip, that's very nice. I like that because you'd always have to turn on navigate on autopilot. Then uh, I had Mad Max before, uh, and that was the only choice before. Now you can engage it every time you start. You can also um, uh, turn say no to that, which means it's going to change lanes by itself, and it gives you this warning. This does not make uh, your vehicle autonomous. You still have to be in control. Uh, are you sure you want to disable lane change confirmation? And um, then you can get a vibrate chime or off. So I'm going to leave both on for now uh, so that every time it attempts to do a lane change, I will feel a vibration and a ch hear a chime. So I'm on a highway. Uh, looks like it will pass on the right side here. It's interesting. I think it would have gotten over, but this is that truck on the right side a little fast. Now it's suggesting a lane change. Little tone. Blinkers on. Not changing lanes right away. goes. Took a fairly long time to do it. Not right away. Let's see what it does here. Another lane change suggestion. Let's see how long it takes to get over. Approaching an exit. Noticing it uh, puts the blinker on and doesn't uh, change lanes right away. Thinks about it. Uh, I had to put a little force on the wheel. Looks like it doesn't change lanes unless uh, your hands are on the wheel. I mean, my hands were on the wheel, but I hadn't. I wasn't applying a force to the wheel. Yeah, it wants to change back. Look at that. I got my. I got. I got a force on the wheel. Yep. So changes lanes right away. But you have to have a little bit of force on your wheel. Torque like. And uh, this is interesting because I'm. Yeah, I figured it was going to have to get back. So again, uh, as soon as I applied the force, torque to the wheel, it changed lanes. Now, this is a double uh, lane exit, so it may just stay in this lane to exit and not get over to the right lane. Let's see. It 
doesn't look like it will. So two lanes go straight, two lanes go to the right, and uh, making that turn by itself, slowing down dramatically. It slows down a little more than I think the average driver. Some really sharp turns here. This one coming up, so it knows to slow down. And it slows down a little more. I would take this a little faster, and most drivers, I think, would. I saw a sign, uh, severe curve in road. Hopefully I'll capture that soon. Got a toll booth coming up. Let's see what it does here. This is my first... Uh, 2019.8 and I think it, it used to stop at this point. Wow, it went through the toll booth. Pretty cool. And then this is crazy here. It's wide open and then it goes to one. Wow, switch back to have on autopilot. That's usually a traffic jam there. Some road construction here. Ooh, it's close. But it did. It went through that fine. Sharp turn here. It's doing pretty good. It's interchange to interchange through a toll booth. Got a little confused, but uh, handled it pretty well. Now we got a merge situation again. Construction here, so it's a little tight. Ooh wee, real tight. And the nose to get over. Very cool. Because that ex that lane exited. Wow, that did that did really nice. That's some pretty hairy construction. Interchange, toll booth, and we've got some slow traffic, so it wants to get over. Lane change. I kept some torque on the wheel there, and so it changed lanes pretty quickly. Also, adjust your speed through all of that, which is really cool. Um, Tesla's cruise control has been doing that for a while. Uh, it knows when you're on a ramp uh, and uh, changes the speed. I'm gonna throttle up here, I'm at uh, uh, eight over my set speed. But uh, that was pretty nice because uh, coming off the uh, one highway, it um, throttled down and then throttled back up to uh, this this road's speed limit of 55. So I've had some hesitation on some of the lane changes, but uh, it did all of that really well. I've got a exit coming up, 1.7. Let's see. Yeah, it's uh, saying that it's going to get over pretty soon. didn't vibrate it. got a tone. There goes the vibration. So you get a vibration in the wheel that you can feel. Um, and uh, you get a tone to let it know that the uh, lane change is taking place. And then this is a real short exit ramp. And it usually stops at the end of this exit ramp coming up curious if it will still do that. Um, basically uh, on ramp to off ramp and then it switches into autopilot as you get off as, as you enter the off ramp you go into normal autopilot and at the end of a ramp uh, it's designed to come to a stop if you don't take over and press the power pedal in autopilot. You can stay in autopilot, but it's going to uh, bring your speed down to zero. Um, some people think it stops at a uh, red light or a stop sign at the end of an exit ramp, 
but it really just, uh, I think, uses GPS information to know where the end. Okay, so my exit's coming up real soon, and it usually stops at the end of this very short ramp. Let's see what it does this time. also uh, takes the exit immediately when it's available so it's right after the sign watch there it goes takes the ramp now uh, yep it's slowing down autopilot is complete nobody's behind me I'm curious if it actually comes to a stop it's a merge to a side road and yes it is coming to a stop <laughs> so you press the power pedal it re-engages uh, autopilot, normal autopilot. I got to take over here and make a turn, but there's that's all she wrote. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends. My other Model 3 videos are here in the middle. If you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.